Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing another Monster Hunter Gen Generations Ultimate uh, video and we're just going to be talking about your item box. We're just going to be talking about your chest. We're going to be talking about um, armor skills in this game. Actually, you know what? That's what today's video is going to be. It's going to be about armor skills because that one's one that I see that's very, very, very controversial because every time I'm watching a brand new Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate streamer come out and they say, oh, I'm playing the game for the first time and then the GU community comes out and goes, oh, you should make this mix set. It's a super good early on mix set that helps you get through, get you to high rank really fast. No, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. GU community, you are great. You are awesome. I love hunting with you, but stop it. When somebody that is brand new with this game that is coming from World or Rise needs to, like, they, there's so much on the screen. There's so much going on. Let them learn. Let them digest at their own pace. You have to let them digest at their own pace or they're never going to hold the information. They're never going to learn and they're never going to, like, be able to, like, learn, figure things out on their own. And that's not fair. That's not fair to the new player to this game. I understand that you are excited, GU community, but sit the fuck down. And for those of you new people out there that are like learning this game for the first time, welcome. We're gonna go at a very slow pace. I'm making very small videos on just like little things that will help you to learn the game. So today we're gonna be talking about hunter skills. We're gonna talk about skills that are on your armor, armor skills. This video is for new players to GU or people that just want a refresher. So I hope you guys enjoy. Press the plus button on your controller, go to your status, and you can see here there's a lot of things on the status page, but we're going to ignore all this for right now. Ignore this. This is important, but ignore it for right now. And what you can see here on the very last page, 4-4, four, four, these are your active armor skills. I'm currently wearing a full bone plate armor set, and that sounds impressive, but it's not. It's literally early bone armor. And what bar early bone armor gives, it's good for impact weapons. If you are using hammer or you are trying to make a hunting horn, use this horn set. Use this set. It's good for both of those things. Even if you are just running hammer and you have this extra skill maestro, don't worry about it. Keep it, it's fine. You have a lot of armor on this set and it gives you KO King. So you don't have to eat for KO King because every time you eat, there's a chance that you will not get the Feyline skill that you want to get in this game. <laughs> Even if you use gourmet vouchers. I know you new people don't know what that is and that's okay, Greenhorns. I'm here to help, okay? And all Greenhorns means is you're a new player. You're a new, you're a new player. You're trying to learn and that's fine. It's okay to be a greenhorn. We're going to polish you up. You're going to be a sharp motherfucking horn that can take down Bloodbath Diablos without even blinking. All right? We just you and then the and the match will be over. It'll be great. We're going to we're going to teach you. I promise. We're going to teach you. Okay? Here we go. So, you can see here that if I hover where it says KO, you can see here that there is a different column for every piece of equipment that you have that matters to getting these armor skills. So we have the weapon column, we have the helmet column, we have the chest column, we have the arms column, the waist, the legs, and also the talisman. And you can see here that I have a talisman that has plus 10 to gathering. We'll get into that in just a second. As you can see in the bottom right, there is a button that says press Y for explanation. We're going to do that. And now it brings up this screen. It tells us a little bit about the skill. So KO, skills that affect the likelihood of stunning monsters. And what this means, in case you're brand new to Monster Hunter altogether and you don't know, and you don't know, and that's fine. It's okay to not know. You're new at the game and you aren't, you're trying to learn. It's okay. So with that being said, KO in this game means when a monster is stunned, it tips over to the side and a bunch of stars go above its head. And what that means is that it's going to be tilted. It's going to be toppled over for a little while and you can just wail on that monster. This is your time to wail on the monster, back up and sharpen, back up and give, you know, eat a potion. Like that's what it's for. But you'll notice that when you're in a multi-hub with, with other people, that's the time that everybody just wails on the monster because the monster is knocked down. Um, and that's, that's right. That's usually what you're supposed to do, especially in higher tiers when you don't need to sharpen as often, or you have higher defense. So when you do get hit with an attack, you don't always have to heal. Um, but early on, it's a good time to back up and sharpen. It's a good time to back up and heal. It's a good time to assess what you're doing. If you already have full health and your sharpness looks pretty good, then just wail on the monster. Wail on, just do it. Get some extra damage in, you know what I'm saying? Um, I won't go over this skill and how good it is if it's effective for an, this video is specifically like how do i get this skill you need 10 points into ko king amongst all of your armor pieces same thing for horn maestro you need 10 points into horn maestro to be awarded this skill well you will go down to gathering and i know you got a couple there's, there's a lot going there's a lot here i get that let me explain if you have 15 points into gathering you will get you'll be awarded the skill gathering plus two 
If you have 10, you'll be gathering plus one. If you're at minus 10, not, not minus nine, not minus eight, not minus five, nothing in between zero and minus 10 will give you minus one to gathering. So if you have skills on your armor set currently that have minuses to certain skills, that's fine. That's okay. They are not active until they hit 10. It's okay to have those minus skills as long as they are not multiples of 10. Okay. Or well, 10, 15, 20. In this game, all skills are 10, 15, 20. I promise you. Unlike in World and Rise, where you can have just one point into that skill and it becomes level one, two, and three. In this game, in order for it to be level one, it needs 10 points into that skill for it to be a complete skill. Okay. That's how that works. So now your question is probably, well, if I have 15 into gathering, does that mean that I get gathering plus one and two? No, you just get gathering two. It just levels up to plus two. That just means that it's level two. And what gathering does in this game is let you, if you have that skill, uh, this is the one skill I'll talk about. If you have a gathering plus one on you, then it means that you can hit a node more than one time. And what does that mean? That means that if you see a rock node, if you see the node where you can collect bugs, you will yield more spots. You can, you can pull from that spot more times if you have plus one or plus two gathering. And with that being said, folks, let's go look over to this right here. We can see that on our armor set currently our headpiece is giving us four to ko our chest is giving us two to ko and four to maestro our hands are hands and waist are both giving us two to ko and then six are coming six points to maestro are coming from feet and then the whole gathering plus one is coming from the talisman that's how you read this chart here so as with this being said you can go over here and pick your armor pieces and scatter them around and then add all the points you need uh and Let's go over and check the blacksmith real quick then. Real quick. Let's go check over the blacksmith real quick. And here we are at the blacksmith. If you're playing offline in the one player mode, he's right here. He's this little guy with the big ass hammer. He's a cool dude. I like him. He's a really cool guy. This is Manville Smithy. You can talk to him. And when you go to build, we're going to go forge armor real quick. Um, I'm using the right stick to move up and down on the screen. You can also use the D-pad. You cannot use your left stick. So we're going to use the right stick for this. And I'm going to go to forge armor. The one that is highlighted is who we get, which one, which is the one we go to. I'm going to hover over the chests because I know that the chainmail vest will show what I'm trying to explain today. I know there's a lot of information on the screen. Hang on. Here we go. Middle top. The name of the armor. It's the name of the armor, the level that this armor will be built as. So you get level one chainmail vest. It gives you two defense, shows you how many slots are on there. It has one slot that is unoccupied. It gives you your resistances. So if you wear this piece of armor, it'll give you plus one. It'll give you one point into thunder resistance. So if you get hit with the lightning attack, uh, sorry, a thunder attack, you'll have one point of resistance to it. Is it one for one? No, it's a percentage. It's some math equation. I don't know that I'm off the top of my hand. You can look it up, but just know that if you have one to thunder resistance, you will take thunder, thunder attacks a lot easier. Below this, without changing windows, you'll see required materials and you'll see how it says owned and needed. The owned ones are in this little red box symbol here. So I have 95 iron ore in my box and I need two of those two, which will, it'll pull from my box. I need two of those to make this chain mail vest, but I also need one warm pelt, which I do not have in my pouch nor in my box. I do not own a warm pelt, so I cannot make this item. That is why it is grayed out, but, but that's not important. What we're talking about today is we're going to be pressing the R bumper to move over one, a little bit of flavor text also shows you who can wear this, whether you're a gunner or a blade master, you can wear this piece of armor. It does not matter what weapon you have. We'll go more into that in a different video. You can see here what our active skills will be if we are current, like right now on the left side, you'll see that we're, we're previewing it. It's technically, we're technically quote, uh, quote unquote, wearing it right now. And it's showing us what it's like if we wear it. Um, so right now we have gathering plus one active if we buy this armor piece and also wear it. Um, and then you push the R button again, you'll see that this chess piece gives you plus three to health. The health skill is an entirely different skill. We can actually check and see what that skill is by pressing Y right here. It'll bring us to this page again. And we've seen this page before, right? We've seen this group before. And we can see here that this chest piece is being highlighted in the middle because it's the chest piece that we're currently wearing. This is the chain. This is the change that it's made to this chart. It, this is the change that you're previewing right now. It's giving plus three to this health skill. We can go down with the right stick and then we can go ahead and hit Y again as an explanation. And it can tell us what health does. So if we have 10 points into health, we will have plus 20 max health at all times. That means when we perish, we lose the food buffs. We still, if we cart and, and, and uh, if we cart and lose our food skills, we'll still have plus 20 when we wake back up and get back onto the map. Um, 
If you have 15 into that health skill, you'll have plus 50, which is a full bar of health. So sometimes people like to build this armor set, the, the full chainmail set, just to have extra health in the game. Because sometimes your defense is not super good early on, but the chainmail vest actually gives decent defense for a good starting set. My one piece of advice as I'm closing up this video is that I would recommend build full armor sets so that you can play around with individual skills and learn which skills are good with which weapons. Play around with it, build all the full sets. Start off by doing the chainmail one, get the leather one, you know, <clears throat> build the bur the burner one they give you. It gives you divine protection in this game, which means it's built in moxie. So if you get hit with an attack that's about to kill you, you have a chance of living. And I think it works consecutively throughout the hunts, throughout a single hunt. So just know that you'll be safe if you're wearing just the regular burner armor and leveling that one up by itself. Um, I, maybe in the next video, I'll talk about leveling up armor, but for now, I'll leave you with just this video here talking about armor skills. Hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this really helped out and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Now I'm the king of the swingers, oh, the jungle VIP. I've reached the top and had to stop and that's what's bothering me. Give me, give me, give me.